Hi, Miss Darcy here for story time. I just couldn't resist. When this new book came across my desk, something's wrong. A bear, a hair, and some underwear by Jory John with pictures by Aaron Cron. I would like to share this story with you because I think it is a fantastic new Jory John story. I always enjoy Jory John anyway. Let's see. I ate my breakfast, I wrote in my journal, and watered my plant. I took my bath, I tried on the gift from grandma, and I combed my fur. Hmm. So why do I still feel like I'm forgetting something? Something's wrong. What do you think grandma gave him? I don't get it. Why do I feel so odd right now? So off, so oddly off. Something's definitely bothering me, but I can't figure out what it is. Have you figured it out? Oh, hello there, how are you doing? How are things? So great to see you. You're doing well, I gather. Excellent. I'm doing really well too. Everything is just so good. I can't even believe it. <laughs> you enjoying the water? Yep, me too. I love water. Love it. So refreshing. Okay, bye bye. Hmm. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Check me out. I just confidently strolled through the forest without a care in the world. Yep, I'm the picture of calm. There's nothing on my mind that's totally and completely worrying and distracting me and making me think that something's utterly wrong. <laughs> just be cool, man. Play it cool. Just another day. Don't let them see you sweat. Um, why am I sweating so much? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, but now I do. How are you? How's your family? How's your life? It's great to see you. You good. What's it like being a raccoon? Are you enjoying the weather? Yep, me too. I love nice weather. Love it. It's cool to be warm. <laughs> uh, but I can see you're quite busy, so I'll get back to whatever you were doing. O okay then. Well, bye. Something is really bothering Bear. What is it, do you think? Why is he sweating so much? Why is that bear wearing underwear? Something is definitely wrong. Something's odd, something's off, but I don't know what it is. What is it? You know what I need? A friend, yes. I need a trusted friend who will be honest with me. A friend who will tell me if something is actually wrong. I can think of only one trusted friend who will know what to do. Anders. Uh, hi everybody. How are you? You're all looking good, happy, healthy, nothing more important than that. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Swell day we're having, eh? What is this, a Tuesday? or Saturday, Thursday, or Wednesday, or Sunday. Anyway, I must be going. I'm off to find Anders. Lovely chatting with all of you. Take care and say hi to your families for me. We must gather again soon. Okay, bye. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Oh, Anders, Anders, are you in there? Whatever it is you're doing, please stop and come outside this instant. I need you, old buddy. Ah, hey, Jeff. How's your, uh, day? Um, how's your, uh, let's see, uh, are you okay, Anders? Oh boy, should I tell him? Yes. You really think he can handle it? Why am I even asking you? Who are you? All right, well, here we go. <clears throat> uh, Jeff, could it be that you left your house wearing underwear? 
Why do you need underwear anyway? You're covered in fur from head to toe, man. Seems unnecessary to say the least. I am still wearing the gift from my grandma. She sends me the weirdest stuff. <laughs> no judgment here, but a good thing I saw you first, eh, buddy? Ugh, gosh, you're right, Anders, woo. I mean, sure, I may have talked to a few other folks along the way. A deer, a raccoon, a hedgehog, and a fox. Oh yeah, and that bird. But I'm not sure they noticed. I mean, they didn't say anything after all. They probably would have said something if they noticed, right? I suppose, Jeff, but we should probably get you home before anybody, uh, who's that in the distance over yonder? Oh, oh no. Huh. to turn these pages so carefully in my new book. Oh, look at all the expressions on those faces. Love that. They're all scratching their heads. Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Nice weather we're having, huh? Looks like rain or something, or maybe not. It's cool to be warm. <laughs> anyway, how are all of your families? Everybody good? Say hi from me. Well, I must be going. Which way was I heading? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Jeff, why are you wearing underwear? <laughs> why, Jeff is wearing underwear? What do you even mean? This is a new thing, people. The new style. That's what's happening. Animals wear underwear now. You're looking at it right here. In fact, why aren't you guys wearing underwear over your fur, huh? Because I'll tell you what, you look weird right now. If you wanna know the truth. Well, uh, uh, well, um, as it happens, uh, well. <laughs> Do animals wear underwear? Oh, Anders, thank you. You are indeed a true and trusted friend. You saved the day and my reputation. I'll never forget this. Never, ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go change into something a bit more respectable. Like a top hat and a scarf. Ugh, maybe a monocle. Why bother, buddy? You're just fine as you are. Trust me. Anders is a good friend. A little bit later. What did I tell you? Hi, are we doing it right? Yep, you nailed it. Nothing odd here at all. <laughs> Look at all that funny underwear that they picked out. Oh my goodness. And even the snake has on little underwear. <laughs> I love this book. You know what, Anders? I may be absent-minded, but one thing I'll never forget is that you are truly a good friend. Good friends are like good underwear, Jeff. They're reliable and they're supportive. The end. I just couldn't resist reading Something's Wrong, a bear, a hair, and some underwear. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.